Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bridget Carey, and I have Sarah Lee joining me from GJS Technology to show us the Ganker X robot. This is cool. This is going to be a fun segment because we got a robot here. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> All right. Give me the basics here because this looks like a very complicated robot toy. What are we seeing here? Sure. So this cool guy here is our third generation uh, battle robot, Ganker EX. It's featured with the man machine synchronization technology. It's controlled by this controller, the joystick controller. And it, has a, it, it, it even has a waist in it. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you can control it. Yeah. It, um, so uh, you are controlling its arms with these arm controllers. Yeah, yeah. It basically just uh, you move that it moves. It's like this. So you can move straight and then forward. That's fast. And yeah. And it, it is an omnidirectional wheel. It moves 360 degrees. Yeah. So this takes battle robots to another level because of how exact you can move everything. Yeah. Um, all right. Tell me about this guy. What's his inspiration? What's his name? Uh, so this, this battle robot is Ganker EX. Okay, this is Ganker EX. Yeah. And how do you charge? So it oh, is it's a charger. Yeah, we, we have a battery. You can snap okay. it off and then snap it on. It's just very easy. And just like this. There's, a, there's this battery here. Yep. You were telling me that this controller, you can actually wear like a belt yeah, around you? Can. Yeah. And all right, one of the neat things also that you guys are working on mm -hmm. is that you can have wearable gloves to control it eventually. Yeah, yeah, like this that. is a remote control that yeah. you would like wear on a belt. But mm -hmm. I mean, can you talk about other peripherals that you can build to like, like, like if I want to punch with the robot, I could do something like that eventually? Yeah, sure. So it, is, uh, it also has another controller that's the motion capture controller. You wear it like all over your body. You, it basically just, you move that the battle robot moves. It's like, you know, the, the movie Real Steel is just pretty awesome. Yeah. Now, battle robots are a thing in Japan, right? Or mm. right? And, or in China too? And yeah, like it's a it's a very popular robot in China. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So you would, I guess, essentially, if you had another one, you would just fight them. At, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you like what? What is it? I mean, how would a battle go? Like you just like just knock it, or does it have sensors? So it has sensors. It has like night building sensors here and it's, co it's connected through 5G Wi-Fi. We also have this electronic scoring system to calculate scores. When it's getting hit by those sensors, on those sensors, so it's going to die. Like it's, it's just like very, because this is a very high-tech product, so mm -hmm. we actually use the electronic controlling system and also it's app-based. Yeah. I love how you're talking and you're like, <laughs> the robot's talking with yes. you. Oh. <laughs> Can I try it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Right. So, so how would I operate it? I would yeah. stick my fingers in yeah, here. Yeah. Your fingers here. Okay. And you move it. Yeah. Hello there. Thank you for coming to the CNET stage. <laughs> Let me do a little dance. This is pretty neat. But yeah, it is pretty fast. And then so this is the joystick to make him move. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty fast. But that means he can respond fast in battle. Yeah. What are some of the implications here? I mean, can we see this in a bigger scale someday? Are we going to have actual battle robots? This is a military weapon waiting to happen, but now it's just like really small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so um, for, for those little small robots, it's just easier to be on the market, you know, because those are like consumer battle robots. But for those big robots, if you've seen the movie Real Steel, you know, the little boy controlling the big robot, it's like you're having your mecha dream. Yep. This is um, yeah. So, how much does it cost? Uh, it's 500 US dollars on Amazon, yeah. Okay, and who's this for? Like what age? So for kids above the age of 13, but, but my, my father loves it. <laughs> it's just so cool. This is very yeah. neat. Woo. Oh, careful. Yeah. Sorry, I just ran into myself. He battled me. Yep. All right, well, well tell me what, what's next for the company too. Oh, so oh I, tang I tangled your robot, I'm sorry. That's fine, okay. <laughs> So like, 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 could, could, could this inspire American toy makers? I mean, like, I, I've seen a lot of tech toys, but nothing this, this intricate. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys are kind of starting this trend, perhaps, of, like, robots, toys that, that can respond in more ways? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So um, GJS Robot is a um, battle robot company. We only make battle robots. Okay. So this is our third generation battle robot. So that's the coolest one. It's equipped. It's, it's just more than a toy, I would say. It's a mm -hmm. high-tech product. Um, you control it with a joystick controller and the motion capture controller. Um, and also, like, you can, mm, you can decorate your own robots. Yeah, it's just customize your own ro ro robots. And um, it's like you're fighting your mecha dream. It's, just, it, it's giving you any very immersive experiences um, mm -hmm. that you're fighting. Actually, you're fighting on the battlefield. So yeah. And, and what about the app? Oh, the app. So the app is uh, it's not controlled by the app, but we can use the app to, um, to, to censor like, the scores, to calculate the scores. So, it's, it's, um, um, so, so the app is, is actually for, to help us like, better calculate the scores. Yeah. This is very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much sure. for demoing this. Uh, I, I, I like to think about what the implications are because this is just, it's just fun. I could just see all the fun you can have with like battling this and actually having like a real game instead of everything being virtual at the time. Mm -hmm. So thank, thank you, you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Bridget.